Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, valiant, brilliant rainbow warriors of the new Edenic paradigm. On this powerful 3-2-2-2-3 portal day and palindrome day, we have massive energies flowing into this realm from the Most High. The gamma plasma waves and adamantine light are preparing us for tomorrow's most powerful 333 Trinity Gateway that is a catalyst for our full flipping of the script to return the power to our good people of the new earth. On this day, the meek are inheriting the earth as guardians and caretakers of Terra Nova Gaia. This great shift of the ages we are experiencing is the prophecy of everlasting life being made manifest through our ground crew earth angelics of the 144 Sacred Heart Centers. Our local Solaris had another day of firing off multiple solar flares with several C-class and a major M-class, maxing at M3.86 at 2110 UTC. These solar flashes are pulsing with the new codes of freedom and liberation for all sentient beings of the way. Pachamama also received another powerful activation today with a magnitude 6.5 earthquake on the Ring of Fire in Vanuatu at 1804 UTC. We also witness another white spike of light on the Schumann charts, the heartbeat of Gaia, at an amplitude of 47 hertz, fifth dimensional energetics and beyond flowing in. We have reached a higher crescendo of frequency with these latest timeline jumps and merges as we make our final ascent into the new plateau of cosmic consciousness to usher in the new golden age of eternal life. The synchronicity of the powerhouse conjunction of Venus as divine feminine and Jupiter as divine masculine joining together in divine union of Heros Gamos to activate and inspire all divine counterparts to merge in the unity consciousness. The eagle flies with the condor as Shakti dances with Shiva through the cosmos to bring the harmony of the music of the spheres to all realms, timelines, and dimensions to fulfill the holy covenant of God and humanity to consciously co-create the new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now I'd like to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for sending your prayers, blessings, and for your beautiful, compassionate comments about my nephew's twin babies that were born two days ago, four months premature. Myself, my queen, and my family appreciate all the love and blessings you've all sent us. And with a heavy heart, I bring to you that my nephew's Little girl, Amelia, did not make it today. She ascended this morning, where she'll be joining my baby boy, James, my sister, Victoria's youngest son, that ascended in 2014 in 5D in heaven above, awaiting our great reunion that's coming very soon. And my nephew's little boy, Samuel, is in recovery from his surgery yesterday, removing the tumor from his spine. He's hanging in there now, so thank you all for continuing to send your prayers and blessings. We appreciate each and every one of you. And also remember tomorrow, the 333 portal, all of our people all over this realm, our 144,000 starseed lightworkers are meditating together in the etherics. You can join in any time tomorrow, no matter where you are in this realm. Each one of you are stationed exactly where you need to be. 
on the grid lines, the dragon lines, the song lines of Pachamama, Mother Earth, 444 flowing in. So thank you all for joining us in this powerful meditation to assist Gaia and all her children of the sun, all our people, to push through into this great breakthrough, into the new heaven upon the new earth. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 23 degrees, 38 minutes Cancer. The sun is at 12 degrees, 15 minutes Pisces. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 13 degrees Pisces. A sword used in many battles in a museum. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 24 degrees Cancer. A woman and two men castaways on a small island of the South Seas. From AstrologyWeekly.com And from Divine Bro through the Light Sham True Rinpoche. Just as light destroys darkness, generosity destroys miserliness. Discipline destroys harmfulness, patience destroys intolerance. Perseverance destroys laziness, concentration destroys distraction, and wisdom destroys ignorance. Jamchurul Rinpoche And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Suzanne Collette the northern lights are the spirits of the ancestors celebrating life and reminding us that we are all part of creation. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, Beyond the solar flares, we have an electrical update happening in the body. In the original avatar, Adam equal Eve 3D matrix. Inner earth grids are powered by electromagnetic dragon ley lines. The inner power is being reactivated now. So much love, Valerie, from ValerieElster.com And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Celia Fenn. 3-3 three, three, Portal and Venus-Jupiter Conjunction Tomorrow the 3rd of March is the 3-3 three, three Portal and also features a magical alignment between Jupiter and Venus in the night sky. The focus is all about love and the expansion of love. We are learning that unconditional love needs to expand to all sentient life forms on the earth. An open heart is open to all life and gives and nurtures without prejudice. This is the time when we open the emerald heart and connect with the deep flows of abundance and love that are present and active right now. Hold your inner light and your inner divine compassion and feel the flow of the emerald light as the emerald codes begin to awaken the love at the center of the new earth. From CeliaFen.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Roberto Nunez. The planet's energies are rising. Attention workers of light, star seeds, in the next few days an energy surge is forecast on the surface of the earth. Please be mindful, hold your mind at a high standard with good connections and actions to help earth in this process. Some areas of earth may experience seismic tensions. Your intention is asking for good vibrations from the earth's consciousness is that the most intense agitations are minimized greatly. Keep asking for union and love between all so that the work of liberation of these old forces happens in the greatest harmony possible. 22-22, the universe is supporting you every step of the way. Keep moving forward in your spiritual journey. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Kirsty Elizabeth. 2002-2023 through 2302-2023. Stepping up and out is shining through our unconscious actions as we work with full-on energetics and layer upon layer of coded vibration which has been hitting us since early January 2023. Today I have felt the need to clear up and get my affairs in order and have operating on a pocket of energy which has felt like riding on a wave of some very clear intention connection. Coincidental happenings have been the calling card of a greater force at hand, a hand that has been encouraging the clear removal of old and unnecessary clutter and a new mental notion of where things are at. 
For me, this has involved organizing my effects of the 3D dimension. At the same time, it feels we are getting closer to that expected boost in early spring, and it seems that all is in preparation for beginning to work in a whole new creativity. Energetics are firing at us at an incredible pace, and perhaps we are not able to integrate any at this time, but we are made aware of receiving. Looking at the workings of the wider world, we are definitely turning a historical page. But as to the content of what is to come, the words are still falling to the pages, and not necessarily in order. Where we are at is absolutely a major marker in time, but will only be perceived as such by our future selves. And as the spiritual community is aware of the overwhelm and bombardment of spiritual coding, so too the world stage holds staggering levels of confusing and dramatic happenings. This portal lasting four days asks us to at least recognize the new ledge that opens to show our higher perspective, and as we do so we can find that we hold a mixture of wild anticipation and deep dread of what is to come. Time to use that discernment that has been gifted as your light in the dark, and perhaps contemplate patience and trust in the power of timing to decipher your next move. Whatever happens, it's time to recognize the shift and prepare to walk within it. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Divine Feminine 7777, the 3-3 three -three portal is open. It opens three days before the actual date and stays open for some days after. It is not only happening on the exact number of a portal. We are already receiving high-frequency energy into our systems. The collective energy feels lighter as it was a few days ago and we can feel the flow of a new frequency into our systems. I hope you are feeling lighter and more relaxed too. 33 means expect great change. We are realigning, shifting, bringing love and light into every aspect of who we are. Our mind, body and soul are being synced, rebooted and activated to get to the next level where we can shift into higher timelines that will bring new opportunities for us, unlocking parts that were asleep, installing new ways of being, living, doing, relating, which can cause chaos at first. Trust and believe, stay positive. We are opening up to more light that will help us release the old ways of living, being, and doing. New earth happens within first, not on the outside. Shine your light and empower others. Our mission is all about service to the collective and planet in the name of love. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Ra James, March is a month that will bring huge changes. We have six planet shifting signs. It also brings the spring equinox. Expect massive energies. Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and the sun all will enter Aries. The ram is always a high energy sign. We will kick off March with one of the most auspicious planetary arrangements of the entire year. March 2nd, we have a powerful alignment between Venus and Jupiter. Jupiter's masculine, fiery energy will merge with Venus's feminine, airy energy. They will be visible glowing together in Aries. This alignment is set to bring through some very positive manifestations. During the 3-3 portal, we have Venus conjunct Chiron in Aries. Major healing for your love life and any relationship wounds. March 7th, we have a Virgo full moon. Saturn also shifts into Pisces on the same day. It stays in this position until May 24th, 2025. Saturn is a planet of tough love, but helps us to clear blockages. It's also meant to help you in setting healthy soul boundaries. Expect major healing energies. This will also bring us balance and help us in a major way in anchoring our dreams into reality. March 11th, we have Jupiter conjunct Chiron in Aries. This is another one of the most important transits of the year. Jupiter and Chiron only meet each other in Aries every 50 years. These energies are all about growth and healing the root causes of any old wounds. Within your awakening, things will make sense more and more. 
Venus shifts into Taurus, March 16th. It stays in this position until April 11th. Expect this to be an amazing time for your love life. A time for love to blossom. The spring equinox is March 20th. The sun also will enter Aries on this day. We then have an Aries new moon on March 21st. This Pisces season is all about what's going on with your thoughts, feelings, and your dreams. It's the time to get a plan. When we shift into Aries season, you will want to really take action. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Hannah and Noah, we are setting foundations for the Emerald Diamond Ray Crystalline Temples, the Divine Reunion and Union of all the Gaia Kingdoms, the Divine Union and Reunion of Lemuria and Atlantis, bringing the crystalline grids of Aurora, Emerald Diamond, Sun Gaia, into one unified field of stabilized 5D anchor. Let's unite in the grid work as we are called to activate the ancient sites and temples of the 5D through 12D Stargate systems that bring and stabilize the 5D systems of ascension anchor for the planet. The divine Aurora Ray platform systems of quantum cleansing, recalibration and materialization of the new through crystalline diamond DNA matrix. Infinite Gratitude, Hannah Shekaya Tara. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Juan Jose Vallejo Civicos. March 3rd, 2023. What science calls mass in the universe is in quantum physics, is in quantum spirituality, the divine consciousness, and divine consciousness generates quantum gravity or magnetism. Black holes are divine consciousness with infinite mass attracting the light of the stars. Because the light of the stars is created by the infinite mass of divine consciousness. And so we are human souls, also divine consciousness, attracting by the magnetism and gravity of our divine consciousness, other human souls by the experiences resonances and reflections from the clarity of our multidimensional souls and the quantum connection through telepathic communications to the pure intentions of the universal sources of master co-creation in divine consciousness to inspire and to facilitate universal existence for humanity like the divine consciousness emitted and transmitted by father son through cmes that arrive to Mother Earth through photons. This divine consciousness is translated for activated and connected human brains by the light codes and DNA activations projected on the electromagnetic auroras of divine spirit consciousness. And from divine Brothor of the light, Raphael, Neva, Gabriel, Ashtar Command, Urgent message to surface population. The next 12 days, the Ashtar Command informed me that there will be an energy field alignment on the planet in the next 12 days. And this will lift energies stored deep within the physical and etheric earth. There will be a mass of energy that will rise and emerge on the planetary surface. They ask that all the conscious have their minds in a high standard with good connections and actions to help the earth in this process. Some areas of the earth may suffer from seismic stresses. Your intention when asking for good vibrations from the consciousness of the earth is for the most intense agitations to be greatly minimized. They continue to ask for union and love among all so that the work of releasing these old forces happens in the greatest possible harmony. Also considering the planetary karmic remains in dissolution. They are in a rush calibrating the Earth's magnetic field while several things are happening at the same time and they need us, the representatives of the Federation on the surface, as antennas to maintain the greatest balance. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Vilma Capuan. Update. Your awareness in the most important month of 2023. As the door opens to the Jupiter and Venus conjunction in Aries, 
there's a reminder from the heavens that grace can transform the darkest of times choose to move forward to the change that arrives like the madman on the tarot let go of your old baggage and take a leap of faith into the unknown trusting in the golden threads of new possibilities walk through this initiation like an anointed madman a master can only show the way an initiation is a spiritual performance the initiation path of the madman so-called the sleepers attracts misunderstanding and ridicule because he follows his journey free from the outer traps and is prepared to show the things that others prefer to hide or not see stereotypes beliefs and feelings are always hidden behind any action because we are made up of chakras receivers and generators in which various energies enter which we fix and interpret in our own way and the mind is organized to absorb everything that has fallen into the human energy field giving rise to reactions habits and consciousness blockages the less our mind is filled with solid concepts the more it is able to perceive and assimilate new things if you want to get rid of a bad habit or blockage track all the way from the inception of the action through the feelings senses and reach the belief that form the habit say it's not yours and simply don't act accordingly affirm that i am connected with my spirit for the best and the highest good step inside your fears and trace where they came from it helps to connect to only what strengthens you to maintain your balance and your peace consciousness has a multi-level system between the body and the perception of the essence but many confuse it only as a decision making by the mind she is the gateway to the divine you vilma capuano from divine sister of the light natalia alba beloved ones as you are already aware march is going to be a very important month energetically speaking we just began the month and we are already having many alignments that lead us to continue with the reclamation of our sovereignty as humans and as free souls my guides share that this month is going to be the catalyst for the collective to finally choose a new harmonic timeline at this time humanity is being assisted as never before in our entire history our aurora family which as you know are highly evolved forms of consciousness that reside in our parallel galaxy andromeda are finally gaining access to many spaces on earth that need restoration as well as the earth's fabric that are being rehabilitated after eons of manipulation the evidence is such that many are noticing the rare phenomenon that is taking place the aurora lights occurring all over the world now not just in the usual countries as it used to be our aurora family is now reaching new places such as france and australia and have even reached new location such as anglesey and north wales and dorset and south of england as we continually choose as our constant state of being a more harmonic and loving frequency we too co-create a new earth, manifesting new timelines where a more compassionate way of living is possible. It is due to the unconditional love that we hold within that this transition is taking place. Aurora beings are creating, as I previously shared, many safe passages for those who have ascended in the physical and wish to leave the earth matrix. Escaping from the arconic trap which is something no one seems to talk about but which is also important to know where we are actually doing with the inner work we do for we need to know that our efforts will not be aimless the ones with a scene and cathar lineage as well as other planetary healers are now in a crucial time for the first time as well for they are now only rehabilitating their essence unique dna coding but beginning to restore the earth's templars or grids as you prefer to call them being finally successful in their mission after many human centuries the essenes were and are for we have a soul group incarnating at this time that continues with the original mission 
helping a lot in the restoration of the planet, for they already come with the polarity integrated within their template. This is a key time for them to focus on the mission above any other consciousness trap, manipulation, or drama. To add more intensity to what we are already experiencing today, we too finally have in our heavens Venus and Jupiter aligned as one. This reunion has been occurring for a while until their final meeting today. As you know, it is a cosmic invitation for us to work on self-love, for we cannot expand love if we do not first feel it inside ourselves, and then assist in anchoring this love for all who are willing to expand their hearts and move into a more loving space. Tomorrow we also have the 3-3 three, three portal, which is the result of the unity between two equals. This is precisely what humanity is learning at the moment, the embrace of polarities, the lack of judgment and neutrality required to do so, and the creation of something that helps us all in this endless evolutionary path that we have chosen to transit. This is a time of opposite feelings and energies all together coexisting within us, as it could not be otherwise in our dual world. It is time for us to remain in the love and harmony that lies in our hearts. As always, it is all that we choose to experience, what will determine where we are, and what we will experience next in our personal trajectory. A time when many are experiencing a profound emotional clearing from parallel timelines, while others have awakened their multidimensionality, as even though we are already multidimensional beings, we need to awaken our second DNA layer to be able to fully activate it, and are experiencing now the connection between parallel selves and the many lives we live. It is important not to overwhelm ourselves when we are able to connect with our parallel selves, for we will bring from our dream phase, or even in a more conscious state, what we are experiencing in the many timelines we dwell. Being grounded, doing our inner work in the present moment, which already affects our parallel selves, doing before going to bed our protective exercises and sleeping with protective stones that we are guided, will decrease the many encounters and often undesired experiences that may affect us during the day, for we are here to live in the now, to co-create in our physical plane, and to expand and assist within it, not to live in timelines that do not correspond to our current experience. We are just beginning to appreciate the results of awakening new DNA layers, our multidimensionality, and healing all that was fragmented. And while this can be confusing at times, it is the physical sign that we are finally achieving ascension in the physical body, reconnecting ourselves completely at all levels and healing separation, which is what will allow us to retrieve more love, wisdom, and power, becoming sovereign free beings, for it is what was meant to be for us within creation. Thank you for all you do for yourselves to evolve and for all, Thank you for remaining always in the illumined essence of your souls. I wish you all a miraculous march, beloved ones. Within infinite love, Natalia Alba from StarseedSoul.com From Divine Sis Star of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code Higher knowledge and wisdom are breaking us free from anxiety and worries. This is leading to embodying unconditional love. The ego and subconscious mind can no longer hold you back from returning back to source and back to love. It will become easier to stop judging yourself and judging others as you continue this transformation. Release those tones and receive the new harmony and frequency that is in a much higher vibration and in alignment with where you are going. The power of love is restoring your essence back whole into a balanced, healthy state of being. Receive this and begin living this new lifestyle that is here. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, love Carolyn, from 144godcode.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Linda Johnson, 3223, Today a Mercury, the Mind, 
both Aquarius and a new cycle with Saturn, structures, time, systems, identities, patterns, authority, foundations, at the 29 degree, the master degree. This is a huge opportunity to up-level the mental operating system and elevate the previous way we have viewed how we have lived and viewed our life. Are we operating in worn-out cycles, stories, repetitive patterns, and constrictions? What no longer fits with all the growth we've done. Like a house that is under remodeling, we may need to revisit or readjust what we didn't know was there or was discovered in the rehabilitation portion. There is also a Jupiter expansion and Venus heart new cycle, both in Aries, and again part of that huge stellium that continues to build. Sparks of ignition towards continued self-realization, creative energies, and self-expression. Aries is conscious mental discipline of the mind through the process to elevate and choose self-love and other love utilizing the higher mind and awareness. We are learning. It's not about perfection. We revisit, regroup, and grow forth. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Debbie Edwards. Heart lights and soul sparks in the cosmos, March 2nd, 2023. Love and all things heart and soul related will be making a huge splash in the cosmic tides today. Here's a breakdown of what we have going on. Venus, Jupiter, and Aries conjunction. Mercury, Saturn, and Aquarius conjunction. Venus, Jupiter, and Aries conjunction square to the moon and Cancer. Mars and Gemini square the Sun and Neptune and Pisces and Chiron and Aries. Moon and Cancer trine the Sun and Neptune, Sun and Pisces. Lovers are going to love, fighters are going to fight, and a whole lot is being said between the two polarizing energies. For better or worse, we are pledging our commitments to something for the long haul. The key is to keep our passions, intensity, and even shadows in alignment with one another. Patience and critical thinking will help keep us grounded so we can make smart decisions with what we have in front of us. For some, this energy can be really exciting. For others, it may feel conflicting or dreadful. What is consistent, regardless of what side of the aisle we are standing on, is that there is a swift energy of impulsiveness here. We are inspired to make a change, to take a leap of faith, or to jump head first into something that we may not think through fully. Doing things the right way, being patient, and understanding the long game will help us navigate these deep waters. This is a time to make important plans, draw up blueprints, make outlines, do risk assessments, and remember that time is fluid. Our timing will be impacted by decisions we make along the way. We must account for the unexpected change, especially in matters of love, family, and partnership. This is a time in which many star-crossed lovers will have an opportunity to finally unite. Because of that, we must take into consideration that there are a lot of mundane factors involved in joining forces for things to flow smoothly. This is especially important when it comes to starting a family, getting pregnant, or blending families together. Everyone's position and point of view matters equally. Let's take time to hear each other out and not rush each other to force something to fit into place. If we navigate this correctly, we can literally manifest all of our most important desires and make our dreams come true. There are no limitations to how far we can go to live a life of true joy, abundance, and bliss. Debbie Edwards From Metavisionaries.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse Venus conjunct Jupiter and Aries Mercury conjunct Saturn and Aquarius Mercury enters Pisces The skies are leaping with the buildup of planets and Aries as Venus and Jupiter meet, sparks of love and appreciation take hold, burn bright, whilst Mercury's connection to Saturn in the background speaks of serious concerns about the future. Venus tugs us to listen to the heart instead of the head. Joy is right here, right now, abundance, exuberance, the fire of the Holy Spirit. Whichever holy you honor, 
including the holy self. This is heart-swelling generosity, the impulse to treat yourself because you can, or gift another with time, money, or energy. With Mercury's move into Pisces, finally the mind catches up with the mood, sinks deep into soul-filled waters, stares at its own reflection. Now is the time to listen to the voice of our unconscious mind, the mind that speaks in images, fleeting, vivid. Pay attention to the roll of emotional tides, the gentle pull towards people, experiences, and places that resonate with your soul's journey. Intuition, love, and faith open a world of opportunity. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 28, Yellow Lunar Star. The number two is called Lunar and its keywords are Polarize, Challenge, and Stabilize. Shying away from our problems and procrastinating about resolving them only adds more stress into our lives. When we have a lunar day every 13 days, we can practice the art of problem solving and removing obstacles. There is always a solution, but you have to strive to find it. Hence the challenging aspect of this number, but the process leads to stabilization. So turn things around in your favor today because this is an opportunity to polarize. Yellow star is the glyph that represents beauty, art, and elegance. A yellow star day certainly gets us looking upwards at the heavens and mesmerized by all the things shiny and sparkly. But as it is a challenging day, you may have to work for your bling. I wouldn't book a hair appointment or redecorate your space. It may not turn out the way you expect. No worries. Focus on removing those obstacles that stand in your way, and may you find by the end of the day you've had a beautiful experience. Think of removing obstacles as an elegant way to make your life better. Experience can be a beautiful thing, and the more we face these tricky situations, the more skilled we become at the art of problem solving. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Lunar Star, to Lamat, Keen 28, 2nd of March, 2023, Healing Disharmony, 2 3 2023 equal 2 3 7 equal 2 10 equal 12 equal 3, Day Codes, 2 Twins, Partners, Alliances, Cooperation, Duality, 12 Acquiring Spiritual Strength, Wisdom, 3 Holy Trinity, Creativity, Joy, Happiness, Month Year Codes, 3, 7, Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician, 10, Manifestation, Authority, Power, Leader, 1, New Beginnings, Original, Leader, Independent, Unique, 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision, 23, Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support, Keen 28 equal 10, Manifestation, Leadership, Authority, New Beginnings, an extremely powerful Lamat portal. Through this divine gateway, we are harmonizing the polarity so that more beauty, prosperity, and source energy can flow through and support us. Alleluia. Day 2 of the Blue Hand Wave Spell where we are accessing more knowledge to accomplish great healing. Today, Monique is living up to his promise of helping us accomplish our healing goals. We are able to apply magical solutions, erasing those old triggers and strongholds, finally liberating us from the push-pull game of duality consciousness in order to find our balance. Lunar Tone 2 in the physical realm, the lunar tone represents the sacred twins, cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female, and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. A day filled with questioning how we can transcend duality using our inner magician through the power of illumination. It is time to step out of the duality game and all its possible challenges in order to resolve our fears, leading us back to wholeness. Polarity reveals our conflicts, struggles, and the apparent separation created by our beliefs in duality. Polarized positions actually work in cooperative alliances. In cooperation, all polarities serve as backgrounds for full appreciation of one another and the whole. Examine the opposites and polarity within yourself. 
Explore your divine feminine and masculine aspects. Has your feminine aspect been repressed from being receptive to all the magic that surrounds you? It is time others become more enchanted by your true beauty and raw vulnerability. It is real to express your true inner being and allow more receptivity to flow into your life. Do not hide parts of yourself compartmentalizing fragments of your soul. No longer can we wear the masks of duality. It is time to take off our masks that the masses have been hiding behind and be whole again. It is time to show our true face again and smile. The authentic you is beautiful and radiant in your raw essence, a spark of the divine. Step out and shine. Today's question is what challenges have been blocking the full expression of my light, creativity, and abundance? How can this be harmonized to enjoy more peace, wellness, beauty, and prosperity in our world so that we can experience heaven on earth? May the heavens rain down great peace, harmony, and abundance on us all. It is done times three. Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sebaoth. Amen. In la Ketcha la Keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 28, Yellow Lunar Star. The mantra, the code for today is, I polarize in order to beautify, stabilizing art. I seal the store of elegance. With the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of universal fire. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notification on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Stasha Erickson, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Laurieanne Johnson, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Cuba, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and all your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so thank you all very much. We're very grateful for you all. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe account. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Bro Thor of the Light, David Levesque, for another super thanks donation. Thank you very much, Divine Bro Thor. We appreciate you and your continued support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Karen Orr, for your super thanks donation. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and your support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Teresa Martinez, for your another super thanks donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, Zodiac Goddesses healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now, we're going to complete today's transmissions from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Prayers to the Seven Sacred Flames, 144 coming in. The time is now. The time is now to turn on the light of my divinity. I now open myself to the river of love that lies within my heart. Let love flow endlessly. 
I now open myself to the river of life that lies within my heart. Let life flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of light that lies within my heart. Let light flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of peace that lies within my heart. Let peace flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of joy that lies within my heart. Let joy flow endlessly. I now open myself to the river of abundance that lies within my heart. Let abundance flow endlessly. Ready to project infinite grace and gifts upon my daily life now and forever. I now open myself to the river of violet flame that will purify me through my ascension. Here, O oh universe, I am grateful. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful, sacred 333 galactic activation portal tomorrow. And be sure to join us in our powerful, universal world meditation of awakening and ascension. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.